Welcome to Solid Camp Professor. I'm Sydney, your Solid Camp Professor, and in this session, we'll be showing you part three of the new option in Solid Camp 2011 of Toolbox. We'll start this session with our new option to be able to machine out a corner. If I were to open up my operation, you can see in my list now we have here something called Simple Corner. What Simple Corner does is that you pick the geometry you want to work on and in this particular case since we have an arrow on our geometry so the direction is important what happens automatically is that when you pick this geometry the actual edge is automatically calculated at 90 degrees to that particular geometry over there if we have to choose our geometry and we'll take this edge over here that's our entire geometry this area will automatically be calculated. The tool that we will be using will be, again, a 10 millimeter end mill. My levels up until this step over here. And in my technology area, we have control of our step down, control of our step over as shown in the picture. Again, we have control of wall offsets and floor offsets and extension how much it passes by these open areas at the edge. What we've added on here also is the option of direction. We can either go zigzag going back and forth as shown in the picture or one way keeping the same direction of cut every single time. Let's do save and calculate and run our simulation. Our tool goes down and clears our entire area of this again. Let's take away our tool show tool and now we'll just take a look at the tool path. Again as you can see the tool is going in a one way over the part itself and if I were to go back into my operation change it to zigzag now we'll see that the tool goes back and forth on the part itself. The next option we have in toolbox is broaching. If we have an area such as this where I am able to actually do a broaching operation using my CNC machine. In this particular case I have two areas where I want to broach. This one and this area over here as well. If I were to open up my operation as you can see we have the option here of broaching. Now in this particular case the geometry can be either the outside lines or if you have a line sketched in the middle you can use that as well. The direction though is important as it has to be going towards the actual wall itself. Now the geometry in this particular case is this line over here that's the first chain and this is the next chain. Note they are also on the opposite sides of each other. That's because we'll be working to the left side of the chain so we needed also over here to be on the left side of the chain. Now the tool that we'll be using is a special tool specifically for broaching. As you can see we have a broaching tool over here with all the parameters necessary for the exact size of the broach. In our levels area we're going down to the proper level over here and in my technology you'll note there's very little that has to be put in here. We can either work on the left side, right side, or center. In this particular case, as I said, left side. We have our maximum step, how much we're stepping in each time. And we have an extension value, how much we're extending past that particular line that we want to go. Now, let's take a look at our simulation. As you can see, and I'll do this one step at a time, the broaching will go down once, go up, go down and move in exactly in the middle one millimeter each time until it gets to the end and now it's doing the other side the exact same thing. The next option I'd like to show you is simple multi bosses. What simple multi bosses does is as follows. We can choose multiple bosses shown as shown in this picture over here and when the tool goes around it and we can use also clear offsets. The tool will not, the tool path would not ruin any of these geometries, even though we're working in a profile manner. 
Before, if you'd work on a profile on each one of these, the tool will go around each one, not recognizing any one of these. But in multi-passes, it automatically recognizes them and will not ruin it as shown in this picture over here. If we were to choose our geometry, and in this particular case, we'll choose these three surfaces over here. We'll choose our tool, 10 millimeter and mil, our levels as before, and in the technology area, we have our step down. Again, we have a wall and floor offsets, but now we also have added on clear offset and step over, just as in any profile operation. All I have to do now is save and calculate, and if we take a look at our simulation, using the top view of our simulation, you'll see that the tool pass goes around, but does not go in between the bosses, not ruining any part of any of those bosses as shown over here. Thank you for joining us on SolidCam Professor on part three of Toolbox in SolidCam 2011. Take care and have a nice day.